Welcome to today's presentation. Today we are going to learn how to use the unit square to determine the matrix of a given transformation. Determine the matrix of transformation that represents the following transformation. Reflection in x plus y is 0 followed by a positive quarter turn about the origin. Now before we continue, the first thing I want us to do is to describe the unit square. So on the Cartesian plane, this is the x-axis and this represents the y-axis. Now, if this is the origin, then the unit square is a square on the Cartesian plane whose dimensions are a unit. So consider this point as point 1, 1, 1,0 and let's label it i where i represents a unit vector in the x direction. Similarly, we may have on the x-axis this point. Let's call it j. The point is a unit away from the origin and in order to complete the unit square we may have another point this point here let's call it k so that if we complete by joining the vertices we may have so that is the unit square another thing we need to take note of the following if we consider a matrix whose elements are determined by the coordinates of the points i and j so that if we have i right at this point then its coordinates arranged in column form will be 1 0 and for j whose coordinates are 0 1 will have as 0 1 now this gives us an identity matrix so that if we happen to carry out a given transformation on an object of which our object will be the unit square so if you carry out a given transformation then the kind of matrix that will form from that transformation will be the transformation matrix representing that transformation so the image of i and the image of j will give us the elements for the transformation matrix okay so let's look at what we have in the equation we have reflection in line x plus y is zero we know that x plus y is zero is just y is equal to negative x and if we plot that accurately the line would be the line that passes through the origin in that manner so that the coordinates of points on this line will be 1 negative 1 0 0 negative 1 1 and so on so just like I said this becomes line y is equal to negative x. Now we are going to reflect the unit square on this line as instructed so that we are going to reflect point i to this side and when we reflect we are going to have right here we'll have the image of i that is at point negative one and then on this other side we have this point is also negative one so this is where we locate the image of j for k we'll have it right here so that is the image of k Joining the vertices, we are going to have this. So that is the reflection of the unit square. 
So as you can see, we can determine the coordinates of the image points. So beginning with I prime, we'll therefore say I prime is zero, negative one. And for J prime, this point is negative one, zero. Negative one, zero. And therefore, the transformation matrix representing reflection on line X plus Y is zero or line Y is equal to negative X is the transformation matrix zero, negative one, negative one, zero. Once we are done with that, we are going to determine the matrix representing a positive quarter turn about the origin. So a positive turn that is rotation in the anticlockwise direction. So if we rotate the unit square in anticlockwise direction about the origin, then we will have I coming to take up the position of J. Now I can have this as the second image. And then we'll have J turning through 90 to come to this point. So that is J double prime. And then K will also turn through 90 so that we have it right here. That is K double prime. And for that reason, if we complete the square, we are going to have that square and the matrix that represents that transformation, that is rotation about the origin through 90 degrees, that is positive 90 degrees is, so we'll have the matrix the coordinates of I, I, we have I double prime right here, which is 0, 1. And for J, J is now negative 1, 0. Negative 1, 0. And from this, we have reflection in X plus Y is 0 followed by a positive quarter turn about the origin. So for such successive transformation, we are going to say the first transformation matrix will be on the right hand side so that we have zero, negative one, negative one, zero. That is for reflection on line X plus Y is zero. And then the second transformation matrix will be on the left hand side, which is now zero negative one and one zero. And therefore, when we multiply, we'll get a single transformation matrix that represents the entire transformation. So if we multiply, we are going to have zero by zero. Remember, we're multiplying row by column so zero by zero that is zero negative one by negative one is one when we add we get one next we're going to have zero by negative one that is zero negative one by zero that is zero and therefore when we add we get zero again one by zero is zero zero by negative one is zero and therefore when we add, we get zero. And finally, one times negative one is negative one. Zero by zero is zero. Negative one plus zero is negative one. And therefore, the matrix that represents the entire transformation is one zero, zero, negative one. And that is how we can use unit square to determine 
a transformation matrix of a given transformation. So that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.